Hi everybody, it's Aaron. Today we're going to be talking about an application called Infra Recorder. The purpose of Infra Recorder is to burn CDs or DVDs. It doesn't play media, it doesn't do anything other than burning CDs and DVDs. So it's very, very nice, very easy to use. Um, what we're going to do is um, go ahead and go to your Google and we're going to type in Infra Recorder. Um, this will take you to the InfraRecorder.org website. You'll go here on the right hand side. We're going to go down to the download section. And you're just going to click this first link, uh, which is the Windows installer. If you've got a 64 bit operating system, go ahead and click this one here. Um, go ahead and click install with all the defaults. Um, once you do have the application installed, we're going to go ahead and launch it here. As soon as you launch it for the first time, as you see, it's going to notice, um, it's going to recognize your DVD drive. It's going to go ahead and install whatever drivers it needs for that. And basically, it's going to open up into this window. As you can tell, the layout is very, very simple. Um, so what we're going to do is let's show you how to burn a disk. So what I do is I always go up here. Um, you can click on the file and then go to New. And then you've got your typical choices, your data CD, data CD multi-session, data, data DVD, audio CD, mixed mode CD, and DVD video disc. Uh, data CD and data CD multi-session. Data CD is just if you want to burn it once and then finalize it, the disc. Data CD multi-session if you want to burn something and then later you want to add more things to it. Uh, data DVD is the exact same thing. It's just a single session. Audio CD will convert MP3s to WAV files when it burns it, so it can be played in any music player. Mixed mode CD, I've never really done that. Not really sure. Uh, DVD video disc, if you need to take a video TS, an audio TS, and burn it to an actual video, um, you would use that option. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to actually, um, let's just go ahead and do a data CD. And um, basically all we're going to do is drag and drop our files. So if I went ahead and browsed, and let's just say I went into my documents, and let's just say I came down and grabbed some wallpaper. Let's just say I drop it on the disk. What you're going to notice here at the bottom, it's going to show that I've got a normal CD. It's going to show up to 702 megabytes. It's going to show you what's in there. All you're going to do at this point is this third icon that says burn the album or burn the compilation. And it's going to say on the fly, do you want it to eject the disk? Say OK, and boom, that's going to burn a disk. There's really nothing to it. The other thing that this application does um, that I like is uh, it burns images as well. I've got an ISO image that I need to burn, uh, Gparted, so I'm going to go ahead and double click on that one. Um, it'll do your common ISOs, image bins, and queues, really any kind of a disk image. Um, again, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. This one I'm actually going to burn. OK, we're just about done here. So what we've done is we've burnt a image, an ISO file. And as you can see, this application is very, very easy to use. I like it for its simplicity. Um, when I want to burn a disk, that's all I need to do is burn a disk. I don't really need to do anything else. You'll notice if you go up here in some of the options, um, you can um, erase um, if you've got a DVD rewritable or CD rewritable. You can eject the disk, manage tracks. It does have some more options, but again, as you can tell, it's a very, very simple application. Um, I do like it for the fact that it's much easier than Nero these days. It doesn't have to take over every portion of your uh, operating system in order to use that application. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, I hope you like it. Thanks.